right, I'll be sharing with you indices about comparing. Okay, so what, what, what's so special about comparing? Let me give you some idea first. The idea will be, okay, let's write it here and show it to you. Uh, comparing as in, if I give you a 5 power x equals to 125, right? I did show you in video number 6 that I mentioned, if you know, let's say you take like the big base, 1, 2, and 5, you further break it down, you will get something like, of course, 1, 2, 5, you might say, eh, hey, it's like, damn big. But the problem here is how you make it smaller. Yes, you need to divide using prime number, that will be the best choice. So if let's say you divide using 2, not possible, 3, not possible, so go for 5. Then you left like 25 here, right? You take the 25, you further break it down, oh, great, you have 5, 5, 5, and it becomes 5, 3. So can you see 1, 3, 1, 2, 5 becomes 5x equals to, you replace with 5, 3, and now you can compare the index. This will be the base, x and 3 will be the index. Okay, so same applies over here, but this question over here is a bit different. What you can see is, there is a 3 here, there is a 5 here, there is a 15 here, there is a 5. Three different base, but is it possible for you to make it smaller? But I will suggest you to do this way. 3 and bracket shows times, right? I will take the 3, bring it over here, divide the 15. Okay, so this is how I do it. Now first, 5x plus 1 equals to 15 Oh, I'll just write like extra working and show it to y'all. Okay, this one, then after that over, you have a 3 here. So don't divide the bracket inside because the index is different, you cannot divide. So I will go for 15, which is times relationship. So I just simplify it, I get 5, right? So I get 5x plus 1 equals to 5, and after that, 5, 2x plus 3, close bracket. Okay, so now, there is a few common mistakes that I want to show you on. The first thing is, okay, I, I write here like common mistake. So the first common mistake I want to show you will be, okay, number one, how if I say 5, 1, okay, times with 5, 3. Okay, so by using like a normal same base times relationship, you will say that you will take 1 plus 3, you get 5, 4, correct? So how if I say 5, 1, bracket, 5, 3, is it the same thing? Yeah, I did say that bracket is to times, right? Yes, but you have to be careful with this thing. Okay, this one, there is base, times, you plus them. Okay, it's still the same thing, you still plus, you get 5, 4. But if I give you 5, 3, bracket, but a 1 outside, this is different. Can you see the 1 over here? There is no base attached to it. Base as in this 5, can you see that? But this 1 here, there is a base 5 here. So this case, you have to times. So this one, please emphasize, this is to times. Okay, and both of these is to plus. Okay, so different, right? So this will be 5, 3. Now, so what, what you can see here is if you move it over here, there is a 5, there is a 5. It's like 2 base, right? So this is 1. So what you can do is you will take 1 and 2x plus 3, plus it together. You have 5, okay, 5. After that, x plus 1 equals to 5, 1. And then add up with 2x plus 3. If you are fast enough, you can just open up the bracket because there's a plus here, right? In the end, if you incorporate into the bracket, it's still the same, okay? So 5x, the, there is extra working, of course, so just keep it if you want. So plus 2x plus 3, so 5, 5. Do you notice same base and then different index? Then now you can compare the index. Okay, so what I do here is I will just simplify it first. Okay, so there is a lot of extra working here. So this one, if you want to skip if you can. So compare them. Therefore, x plus 1 equals to 4 plus with 2x. So just take this thing. Sorry, it should be 1 and 4. You take this thing, you bring them together. So x, 4, plus 1, bring there, you get minus 1. And then this plus 2x, you bring to the left side, you put it behind, always do that. Okay, put behind, you see, put behind. So minus x equals to 3, so x equals to minus 3. Great.